Nathan Mirvold. That's what I like to call you. Some people here call you the Voldemort of the technology industry. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> I have to say, I disagree. You just, you just said I was very magical. <laughs> you are a great yeah, wizard. That, that is, that's like the best thing anyone said in a long time. That's just awesome. What is the worst insult someone said to you in the last couple of years? Um, if Voldemort's the I'm good one. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> you you got to find that on your own. Come on, that's doing your job for you. All right. So like a lot of people here, um, I disagree with a lot of what you had to say on stage today <laughs> um, about patents. But, you know, I think everyone here respects you for coming and talking about this openly with an industry. With the, I mean, you, you had a funny line on stage that if you wanted to be popular, you would have gone to a chef convention. Like, they love you. Technology industry, not so much. There's a very funny thing where collectively this industry is some of the most wealthy and successful people in the world. Mm -hmm. And they feel very threatened if anyone upsets the apple cart that's do making them do so well. Mm -hmm. uh, so for years these companies tried to diminish the value of patents and fundamentally steal other people's inventions. Mm -hmm. Legalizing theft because big companies do it isn't good for America. That isn't what the American way is. That isn't our history of uh, a nation of inventors. Now, when you talk about this, you make it seem like, well, well this, is, this is all just obvious and who could disagree with these things? And yet, many, many, many people in the industry disagree with you. If, you're, if it's well, so clear, if it's so clear as what you're describing, why do so many people disagree with you on this? I, it's a case of entitlement. I mean, people, it, when I was, entered the industry eons ago, it seems like the Mesozoic era by geologic <laughs> time, no one in the PC industry had patents. People copied each other right and left. They even copied each other in copyright ways right and left. And there was a whole bunch of big court cases that settled what was covered in copyright and what wasn't. Mm -hmm. So in the early days of the industry, patents didn't figure at all. And people ripped each other off right and left, but because no one was actually filing patents, it was actually okay to rip them off in a certain sense. Uh, well, more recently what's happened is the industry's grown up a little bit. The young companies, uh, and a lot of people in Silicon Valley, feel entitled to think, well, I, I get to be a billionaire with my IPO, and it should be perfectly okay if I take other people's ideas to do that. And they don't say it that way, because if you say it that way, it sounds absurd. Mm -hmm. Hey, how could you say, oh, it's okay for me to be a billionaire, but the guy who had the original idea, I ought to stiff. Or the university had the original idea to not pay anything to. But in fact, in practice, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. And the reason they're threatened by my model is, in our model, you have well-funded companies that have expertise about patents, that invest in them. Uh, that's what we do, and there's other people that, that do this as well. We're going to make sure that they pay something. Mm -hmm. And that's very threatening, because, oh my God, oh my God, they could threaten this gravy train. It's a very arbitrary set of, of rules that they're playing by. Well, why is it okay for, for CEOs to make hundreds of millions or billions of dollars for managing a company? They didn't do the invention. Why is venture capital good? The venture capitalists only buy stock. They never do anything. Well, so and, you said this on stage. You investing in patents is no different than a venture capitalist investing exactly. in preferred shares. I think a lot of people would disagree with that. So how does an inventor get funded? Okay, if you go to a venture firm and you say, you know, hey, I'm here to get funded, mm -hmm. and I don't have my idea yet, so I'd like you to fund me to have the idea, mm -hmm. how successful do you think that would go? Yeah, not very well. Not very well, because the they say, no, times. that's not what we do. You have to already have the idea. Right. And then you have to recruit a team, mm -hmm. and then you have to, 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 to come here, and we'll, we'll, we'll bring you in, and then we'll decide to invest in you or not. Right. We don't invest in people having the idea. Why not? Okay? But that's not all you guys I do. do. You're acquiring we, is, patents, you're suing acquiring people. Patents is you're... This, most venture firms these days don't invest in a seed round company. It already exists when they invest. Private equity companies buy businesses, either entire businesses or divisions of businesses. That business pre-existed. There has to be, you know, for every entrance, there's an exit. Mm -hmm. if you, it'd be very much like saying, oh yeah, let's keep going with Silicon Valley, but we can't have any IPOs anymore. Would that work? Obviously not. Or, or how about no M&A? Companies can't acquire other companies anymore. Would that be a good idea? I think if, if Facebook can buy Instagram, why shouldn't Facebook be able to buy patents? Well, actually they can. They bought a ton of AOL patents from Microsoft. Mm -hmm. That's perfectly appropriate. The buying Instagram is, in my view, 
no different than buying the fruits of the intellectual labors of people who had worked at AOL or companies AOL had acquired. It is hard for me to buy that Facebook buying Instagram is the same thing as having to go okay, buy a, a bunch of pieces of paper so that they can get in a legal war with Yahoo. It's a it's a building versus defensive destruction thing. I mean, that's people's issue with this. Well, I don't think it's a very well thought through issue. Sorry. Um, it, you know, if there weren't people that were uh, financial middlemen that were investing in Facebook all along the way, including now mutual funds and hedge funds, mm -hmm. if, there, if, they, if those didn't exist, there wasn't a, a liquid market they couldn't raise capital. And if they couldn't raise capital, they couldn't have grown the size that they are now, and they couldn't realize their potential. Mm -hmm. It turns out, in a complicated capital system, the idea of having liquidity in a liquid capital market mm -hmm. is vital to getting capital to the folks who need it. Mm -hmm. You know, Facebook, and I don't want to mean to signal out Facebook, but this is you know, a week after their IPO, so right. they're a company that has been uh, fortunate that they got funded at every stage that they needed money they got funded. Mm -hmm. Inventors don't have that source of capital. Mm -hmm. And if you starve capital for inventors, you're hurting the people that are the, the, the goose that's laying the golden egg. Mm -hmm. And you're saying, oh, the only people who can make uh, the money are marketeers and uh, uh, financial middlemen. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's right. I think inventors deserve to have financial liquidity. And that's absolutely as valid if they're selling their patent as if they're selling their stock in their company. Is there such thing as a patent troll? Is what you do misrepresented from other people who are doing that? Or you think there's, there's no tr problem with this in the industry? If you say, is there no problem, tell me any big system in which there's no problem. I mean, again, it's a week after the Facebook IPO, and there's tons of allegations about problems in the IPO. I have no idea if those are sour grapes or those have validity. Mm -hmm. But broadly, are there problems in the stock market? Oh, yeah. Look at the financial collapse of but 2008. Look at all these other things. So on the margin, are there some patents that are probably bad? Yes. Are there some people probably doing bad things? You think things it's on the margin? Absolutely.